last time I uh, we have created our first project no? uh, that is intake but in our uh, 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 model last time uh, I've seen lots of uh, overlapping and uh, that is not our intention and also when when it goes to this very very narrow uh, 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 sharp uh, slant, uh, what it is slope, uh, this part will uh, will become you know the, the thickness of uh, the retaining wall will become small thin. That is not our intention of doing this. Our work will be should be all equal, all equal. All the retaining walls should be equal. Uh, all of this thickness should be equal and when it is slanting there will be there will be no open like this this is all closed and uh, uh, that is another type of method that we have done we have done eight eight points no? adaptive points now this time we will do it 12 adaptive points no? we will do from one to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Before we do it only one, 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 one here, and then we just only cut, place it here and, 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 and place it here, place it there, and so on and so forth. That is not, uh, uh, should be like that. It should be uh, modeled as one whole. Hmm? And then, uh, Let's go back to our seed. This is our seed. Yesterday uh, we have done this seed. Again, I'll I'll uh, explain it to you what we have done it. Uh, yesterday we call this one inlet. We call this one trash or trash rock, and then we call this part uh, gate, and then we call this part outlet. Hmm? And this one is uh, our. Uh, uh, W1, W2, W3, and W4. And this is parametric. This one, if you change all the dimensions, now this one we have already tested it yesterday. This one is going, going together. This one is, uh, when, when, whenever we change our dimensions, this one will, will, will follow. Uh, our figure will follow when it is parametric. Hmm? And then let's go back to our uh, uh, seed. This is our seed that we have done yesterday, and uh, we extruded and make this uh, as our uh, uh, conceptual mass. Hmm? And here in our drawing, actually, we don't need this conceptual mass. What we need only is uh, this, uh, this one, this, this one, our uh, uh, reference line. Huh? The reason why, uh, the reason why I extruded this because I want this one to load it into another adaptive component. Now we will load this into our adaptive component and we will uh, uh, take this as our uh, uh, what pattern and then when we take this our pattern and then we will remove it back. Nah? Okay, let's start. We'll do it now. Nah. Uh, let's go to home. New. And then uh, English metric. And then open metric generic model adaptive component okay it's open okay and then go back to this and then load it into our adaptive component i have loaded it here loaded it here okay okay now uh, next next uh, we need to save this save uh, save this adaptive component and uh, we will name it uh, adaptive component uh, 12 points 
12 points adapt adaptive component because we are going to place 12 points na onto this corner of all these things all, all of these surroundings okay uh, first we'll need to save that file save family and uh, we'll go to our uh, folder desktop lecture Revit and then uh, I'll uh, go to project and then new folder I name it uh, 12 adaptive points and then name this one AC underscore 12 adaptive component and then uh, make it one one okay save okay and then next that we're gonna do we want to place this one in our four level I cannot show it doesn't show oh, it's high I need to bring this down or uh, we will delete this and then uh, we need to have this uh, our reference level and then drag it back our project seed Uh, it so. It's okay, that is not our intention. You can, uh, okay, you can align this. And then uh, you can uh, move this. And then uh, move it there. Okay. Now this is our model. Now it is already there on, uh, on our level one. Huh? And then next move that uh, we're going to do is uh, we need to place 12 points huh? on these uh, levels. On, on, on this uh, model that we have uploaded uh, loaded into project so we need to create points points and then yeah any any points we need uh, you don't need to mention that if that is model or reference or even it is reference it's okay uh, uh, because what we are going to do is just only place the points uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 
at 12. So that's it. This model is no longer needed. We already have 12 points, no? but uh, let, it, let it be there. Just uh, select this all, filter, and then uncheck none, and just only reference point. Like, and then we'll make this one adaptive. No? And then you see the sequence. I close this. Hide the elements and there. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay? Okay. Next. You just uh, click this point and then click this point and uh, if, if I'm going to click all the points like this I click all the points like that and then just uh, uh, make it uh, only adaptive points apply and we'll go to this uh, spline through points no, it's not good. You know, the, the, the spline is like this. That's why we need to do it one by one. Huh? No, it doesn't follow the sequence. This is the problem. Okay? If this is straight like this, it will follow the sequence. But this one is uh, uh, everywhere. So we need to do it one by one. So you just click this one point and two points. And then spline through points. Spline through points and then here and there and then spline through points. I think there's a mistake here and here and then spline through points. And then three and four. No, it's selected. Three. Control. Press control. Line through points. And then uh, four. Press control. Line through points. Five. And then press control. Line through points. And then uh, six and seven line through points, and then uh, eight, seven and eight line through points, and then eight and nine line through points. It's a lot of work. Hmm? It's not difficult, but uh, you know the, the 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 process is too lengthy. Line through points. Now is our first form. Okay? Okay. And then you select all this, select, and change it into reference line. Now it's our reference line. The other thing that I want you to do is uh, like this. We need to offset this into another, no, so that we can get the thickness that we have, we, we need now this thickness, this thickness in our this this thickness now from here to there, no? this thickness. So what I'm going to do, I will uh, a little bit exaggerated it because here this is only around one meter, and I will make it two meters so that our our uh, our uh, uh, um, model can 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 be adjusted up to 
uh, two meters. But first, I want uh, to make a family type first. Family type, and uh, I will name this family type. One family type is height. H H and then make it instance if you want huh? and then uh, another one you 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 uh, make is a segment line number one seg SL underscore bottom then make it the instance okay and then another one that uh, I want you to make is uh, SL underscore top instance. Okay? And then uh, let's uh, give a value. Uh, let's say uh, our height is 10 meters because our, our, our uh, scale is um, millimeter yeah yeah we didn't change it we, you just name it 10,000 and then you will place this one 2,000 and then this one also 1,000 and then you can change the unit U N, and then change the unit into meters into meter meters and then two decimal places okay Okay, and then back. You see, it's 10 meters, 2 meters, and 1 meter. And then, uh, let's make a formula. I want to make a formula. Uh, this this SL top, I want every time that I'm going to change my bottom, this one will divide by 2. And then, uh, you just copy this. Control C. Control V and then divided by two. Apply. Okay. Okay. Now we have done our parameters. We have only what we need is uh, three parameters: H, S, L. Uh, SL uh, bottom and SL top. This I just want to make this one. Oh, it's already capital. Uh, that is segmental seg segment line. And then next, let's create a reference line. Uh, offset our offset reference line. Okay, offset. You just click this one, pick line, pick line, and then uh, uh, we'll offset it into two, and then uh, it's not coming. It's good to deliver, right? Mm, there is another line that is not good. Top. This line. And then... Uh, this line... It's round this and this and then uh, and then also this one this and this and then uh, okay and change this to into reference line 
Okay. Hmm? You go back to level? Yeah, we were Now this is our line. And then we need to place a reference line. Reference line and then uh, pick a line and then make it two. Two. Here. 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 And here. And then you go back to your 3D. And there is the reference line that we have created. Hmm? Actually, you can extrude it now this one, but the problem is when you extrude it, you need to you need to deduct this one and and our uh, 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 lines will not uh, play. Our our bottom line and the top line uh, top 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 thickness will not play. So next that we are going to do is. Uh, You need to create a line from here, line, reference line, and from here to this. And then again, another line here to here, or the corners. No? And then this line and to this line. <coughs> This line and this line, we are following all the corners. This and this. Uh, uh, I think uh, there is a mistake. We need to make a reference line and make it uh, stop to 3D. Okay. Okay. Just you follow. Here to here, and then here and there, here and here, here, there, and uh, this, and there. Okay, and then you just. Uh, trim this extent Okay. Okay. This is our pattern now. This is our pattern. The reason why I make this line here is that I want uh, to create a point point that uh, this point will will move. Huh? Will move. Check. If I'm going to place a point here, let's say here, here here and select this point and then uh, you see this one normal curve and then it says beginning okay beginning let let's say let this this line from this beginning uh, our beginning is here and going here huh? beginning is here and going there and he said 
this one is 0.8 no? because this is normalized in curve the total distance from here to there is 1 so how to use stream command hmm? how to use stream command uh, it, it doesn't, we don't need that anymore we will we'll just uh, uh, this is just only our line this is not our pattern no? okay and then uh, if I'm going to change this point into segment line segment line you just you just uh, take note of this beginning yeah? and I'll change this one into segment line segment line and this will become 1.6151 meters yeah? meters and then uh, let's uh, associate this into the parameter that we have done and we name this segment line bottom bottom okay you see it goes there if i'm going to change this into into 1.5 apply and then it moves and then again let's create another point we will create points all over this line that we have created one this is hosted. If you see, it's very small points that it is hosted. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. No, eleven, twelve. Twelve. It's already twelve. Okay, we have already created one. And then uh, you check this, and then check the positioning. It's also a beginning, and then go to this segment line, and then uh, associate to SL bottom. and select again this point changes to segment line sub segment length and then associate the bottom the reason why I'm checking it one by one actually I can select or because uh, I don't know now if this uh, measure from measured from is beginning sometimes this one will become and that's why I'm selecting it by one by one now I need to be sure that that measure is from beginning hmm? and then SL bottom Okay, still beginning. SL. SL. Bottom. And then again. <laughs> beginning. Segment length. And then associate. Select this and then okay beginning also and then segment length and then associate it's a very long procedure again select Set change this to segment length and then associate and then again segment length then associate to bottom then segment length Associate the bottom and 
segment plan and then beginning associate to bottom okay done yeah. all of the points were already associated to segment length see let's let's check if it's moving let's check change our segment length into one apply moving all is moving and then again 1.5 like goes and then uh, I want this one because this is the only uh, uh, default parameter that uh, we're always going to change because this was already in formula we replace this one into another uh, uh, we need to constrain this you go th there so that this will not uh, replace it in constraint okay right okay now this is our bottom lines and then next next we need to join all those those points you just select this and then select this and then line through points and then this point and this point line through points this point and this point line through points this point and uh, line through points line through points <coughs> I select this and then press control line through points select this line through points then oh line through points okay line through points line through points oh okay Let's control line two points and the last one. Line through points and then change this into generic model. Thank you.
into this module change it into reference line Okay, these are all reference line now. Okay, and then uh, uh, we'll create a line also there, here, line here, and then line here, na? and then it's line through points. And then you select this line that we have created and then change it into reference line. Okay? And then again this one. And then it's flying through points. Tab. And then change it into reference line. Now this is our first model. You can hide this. Hide. And you can hide this. Okay. Now this is our model now. This is our model that we need. This one. Actually, you can already create the form using this. Huh? Using this, you can create a form now. No? You just only go and make a form, and this form will go. Huh? That form, okay? But uh, this is not our intention. Okay. Our next move is to create our second. Uh, this what we're going to do is uh, blend, blend, huh? and we need a form also here in our height of our retaining wall, retaining wall height, and uh, the 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 the, the uh, top height. Now we will blend it into our bottom height, and uh, this is already parametric. You see, I I I I'll, I'll check it, I'll check it, and uh, you need to uh, make it one. Apply. You see, it's moving. Huh? You make it back. Make it uh, 1.5 again. Apply. Okay, now let's create our second uh, model, uh, the top model, sweep, uh, blend, top. Okay, first we're going to create a point again, point, point. But you need to set our what? Our plane. Set your plane here and then click on that point. Okay? And then uh, set the plane and click into this point. Set, set the plane and click on the point and then uh, set the plane and then point set the plane okay this is uh, you know very lengthy work hmm? set the plane <coughs> No, it cannot. It should be hosted. Huh? Hosted. Wait the point. Because this is hosted there. Huh? If you will just copy, it's not uh, hosted. And then set the plane. 
And the last one. Okay, very intense. Uh, set the plane. And then point. And then set up lane and then point and then uh, last set up lane and then okay done yes huh? we cannot uh, do what you want to copy 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 because if we will copy it will not be hosted hmm? okay you just select all the points and then change this point into offset that we have done H. No. no, it goes there. You see, you see why why I have placed it there. If I'm going to move this now, this will go together. Okay, and then you select this point. And then uh, you just go to this offset, make it H. Now I have already two. And then select this point again. Make it H. Select this point and then H H I don't have points yet. Okay, change it here. I don't, I don't have point here. Just place a point here and then set the work plane and then select this point make it H again this point 10 Stop. Make it H. So I have done it 10. Now we are on 11. H and then again up. and then 
H. Okay. Now there is our point. Here is our point now. Huh? Now our uh, first uh, point top is done. They are all done now. Then uh, we will again spline through lines. Spline through lines. Here and here. Uh, through points. Spline through points. And then uh, here and here. Spline through points. And then uh, this point and this point. Spline through points. And then this point and this point spline through points these two points and spline through points these two points spline through points and then these two points spline through points and then uh, these two points spline through points my battery is low Spline through points. And then uh, this point and this point. Spline through points. And then uh, this point and this point. Spline through points. Then we change again this into. We change again this into reference line. The reason why I want to change this into reference line because when I'm going, I'm going to place this one into our uh, 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 conceptual model. This one will not the, the the reference line will not go. Only our figure will go. Now this is our second figure. Next that we need to go to to do again is uh, the point here point here okay again we need to create a point point set our working plane and set it here tab horizontal and then point okay and then again again Again, set, set, and then point. Okay. Again, set our working plane. Point. Okay. And then again. Set our working plane and then here and then set our working plane again. Set our working plane at the same Okay. And then uh, set our working plane. And then points. Okay. And then you go here. Check the world we can print here. Point. Okay. Set working plane. Point. Okay. We are done in point eight and then point nine. Set working plane on point nine. Okay. 
set working plane on point 10 okay and then uh, set our working plane on point 11 And then the last one, set our working plane. Okay. Okay. It's a very long work. Huh? Mm -hmm. so you can select long. all of them. Huh? No, you can select all yeah, of them. Yeah, you can select one of them. Select it also. And then, and then associate them together. And then select it also, this one. And then select this, and then tap uh, select, and then uh, control. What okay, will associate that now? Now here's the problem. There is a point that we miss now. That's why, that's why uh, there is no associate. Associate, there is no offset. See, see. That's why uh, sometimes I forget. I, I I miss some points. Some points, no? That's why I need to select it one by one. Page. It's not there. It's there. Because there are too many. Then associate to it. Uh, I miss here. I miss this. There is no point zero. Yes. Yes. I tap it now. I miss a point. Oh, there is a point. Top. Anything here? There is nothing, no points here. Nothing. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll make a point there. No? Set. Tab. And then point. Okay. Sometimes I miss it. No. Okay. And then point. This is how you you work in design. You there is no shortcut. No shortcut in design. Okay. Each. Up. Each. Okay. And then. Uh, Top. Each. And then again, top. Then each. And then top. 
I don't have points here. I don't have points here. You can make a point. Set your work in. Okay. Then select this point and then H. Okay. Okay, same. We will do again our uh, second uh, line. Connect. You connect this and this. Connect through points. Connect through points. Okay. Connect two points. Okay. Very lengthy work. Very much. Okay. It's okay. Hmm? Shortcut? Yes. Design no shortcut. This is also design. This is a telling hole, you know. <laughs> architecture? <laughs> yeah, but this is uh, this is a part of design. We are doing the telling wall. <laughs> If I'm going to place a reinforcement there, then it's already design. design. Okay. I think there should be a structure. structure that uh, all the points okay. can be selected and the line can be drawn. No, it cannot. <laughs> because if you will select all the points like this, I have shown it already to you. Okay, it will, it will like yeah, it'll curve. It will curve. Okay, again, we need to create, select these two points. These two points and line through points. And then these two points. Okay, now you will join them like this. Line through points. Yeah. These two points. Line through 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 points. Okay. Line through points again. Line through points. Line through points. Line through points. Okay. Now you select all these. You, select, you can select now. You can select now these all. Oh, you know. Okay, select it. 
and then uh, you fill there this and be na and then you do that like this and then just select lines right now the lines are selected and then you can change it to reference line okay now all of our lines are reference line now okay okay number two uh, la, uh, next move that we're gonna do is we need to create a point again into this area and uh, again we will check we will place our top sl top okay create a point uh, just uh, pick a point here uh, and then pick a point there Wait, I have missed the point at the point. Okay, here on this point, we need to create a point here in this point. And then uh, this point, this point, this point, this point, okay, here, 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 and last one is stuck here okay okay now let's, let's associate this point this point you check it says beginning so beginning point point two one seven eight nine what is the meaning our beginning is here i don't want the beginning to be here i want the beginning that our our uh, it should be here so you need to change your beginning to end and and then you just uh, place this as segment line and then you associate it to our sl top okay so our thickness will go from here to there okay our thickness from here to here okay then uh, next is uh, we need to check this check and also beginning so change this into n and then change this into segment line length and then this segment length will sl top okay no we, we will check uh, select some points also okay one by one because we need to check now uh, we need to check this check this one sometimes this one is n you don't you are not sure and then uh, change this into n and then uh, segment length and then uh, make it uh, SL top okay again here and then uh, and and then uh, segment length and then SL top okay this one and uh, check beginning, make it N, and then make it uh, segment length. Segment length, and then associate as SL top. Okay? And then this one, beginning, change it to end, 
change it to segment length and then okay i hope you you enjoy our uh, topic okay change it to end and then here segment length and then associate to sl tab okay next and and then segment length <laughs> oh, you see this one? There is something wrong here. No? If I'm going to make this one beginning, <laughs> see this point? Point. This point. This, this point says uh, says in normal curve parameter. This says beginning. 6 point beginning uh, 6.71 it means to say our beginning is there mm -hmm. uh, you don't need to change this beginning anymore uh, because it's already beginning so we just only change it this one segment segment length uh, and then uh, you just associate it to sl tab <laughs> okay this one also or oh, beginning also so you don't need to change it into end you just only go and change this one into segment length and then go to SL tab that's what I'm telling you you don't sure if that is beginning or end you are not sure we are not sure but why does it so, matter it's always in the center but what if I don't want to center it just I made a formula what if I want to change my formula? Oh. Uh, see, just I just made the formula and... Uh, yeah, Because it's a formula, so if I, I don't want the formula there, I want a thickness that equal to one half of that one. So, that is a problem now. I want this one the uh, user-friendly. Okay? Uh, lengthy. Yes. Learn uh, after you complete complete this. Somebody can use it. Yes. Now you have already completed, so you can share it to anyone. You already this is already parametric, and if you want to make a retaining wall to anyone, you just click 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 everywhere, and you have a retaining wall. You can use also this one retaining wall in our pump pumping uh, pump house. You know, it can be used and eh? use yes. As long as there is a 12 points, now you can shorten this. You can change the shape. Yeah, it will always be like this now. Huh? Yeah, it can change. Shape can also change. Yes. Now we have already done this. When, whenever you we want to change this, then you can change it. Okay. Segment length, and then uh, it's already a beginning, and make it. SL tab. Did, did, did we change this? Okay. Beginning. Segment length. And then associate to SL tab. Okay. Yes. Very lengthy. Very much. But then after this is already completed. Oh, yes. Then we are still at the great problem finish. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. So next move, you need to spline through points. Then you will have to create the form. Then you will have to create the void. Spline through points. Spline. Oh. Is this a little thing?
Line throw points. Okay? Line through points. Line through points. Line through points. We are very near now. नहीं अब आपको ये स्केल बनाना पड़ेगा इस तरफ मैं यहाँ लो बैटरी ना Okay. Oh, but I don't know what to do. Stop. Line two points. And then this, and this, line through points. Okay? Okay. And then you select this, this one, and then line through points. And then select this also. Line through points, and then uh, you select all, and then uh, you filter it, and uh, and check only check lines, right? And uh, you can change this line into reference line. Okay, now our figure is now done. Now we can now. What we can now create a form. No? Yes, First, I want to, to close this. Close this. This top because we are going only to to. No shit. I need elements. Hide elements. <coughs> now all hide, hide, and then hide this also. Top. Yeah. 
This is wrong. This is wrong. Here, no? I'll just um, make this one. Line through points. And then hide all this. Hide elements. Okay. Make this a reference line. We'll make this as a reference line. Reference line. Here also. Here also, this is only the first one. Okay. And then we'll close the bottom also because we don't need this close. Now this is the one that we'll do blend. We will blend blend this. This two. Huh? This and uh, this. Okay? This one. Okay? See? I have seen echo. You see? Oh. oh. It's uh, I have selected though. Oh, why is it selected? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, create, create a form. Now I have a form. No, oh, there is something wrong here. You know why? This one not selected though. If there is some not selected. Okay. Okay, I, I undo uh, and then select. There are some lines that is not selected also. I select this. No, you see. Or what you will do now? It's like this. You just select all, select all like that. You can select. You can also close this. So that this one will not uh, disturb. Hide. No? So you can hide also this. Hide. No? And then uh, you just select all. Select all. I have selected all. And then filter. No? And check. Only you will check is reference line. Reference line. Apply. Okay, now all preference line is selected and then create the form. Oh, not there is some there is something that I have not closed. What is that? This lines. Yeah, this line, no? This line you you close all these lines. This line you close also because uh, this line close. Oh, it's, a, it's okay. You just uh, select it like this. And then select it like that. And then... Uh, you check if all the lines are selected. You check if was all the line was selected. No? All uh, all our line was already selected. Okay, when all of our line was already selected, and then create a form. Still not. Something wrong. Yeah, they're here. 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 Not selected. Okay. Okay. 
Yes, sir. This one, this one, this one. You check if all the lines is selected now. Now lines are all selected. Think so. And then create the form. Okay. Now there is again a not selected zero. Hmm. What is wrong? We close, huh? Need to close this. Height. Height. Much better to hide all. Right. Right. Okay. This one. Hi, also. Sir, I would suggest you give me this video and I'll edit that for you. Yeah, yeah. In the background voices. Hi. No, sir. Kindly upload this tonight. Hi. I'll center the background voices for you. Please, sir, the channel is up. Will you allow me to upload it? Now all, all is already hidden. We check if it's closed. Is there anything more? Now done? Yes. Oh, you see? Okay. And then you select this and then filter. Uh, only reference line. Okay. This is our this is our figure. Mission. Which is my reference line? Oh, this is the line that uh, I'm going to. You know, that is the segment where uh, segment, na, uh, hosted. Yes, hosted. That's why wherever I place it, there is hosted on that line. Hmm? The point is hosted. This is, you know, uh, I have figured this out many times. Okay, and then uh, you need to save your work and then uh, save and then load into project. You load it into project. 
uh, new project. <laughs> and then, uh, this is our 3D. You, our, our sequence is going like this. Here, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, it is slow. Yeah. And twelve. Okay. Now there. Hmm? And then uh, see. You actually, you don't need this anymore. You don't need this. Huh? You don't need this. You don't need this uh, already. You don't need <laughs> this void. You don't need hide elements. Uh. All you need is this only reference line. You can go with this reference line and go like this. Okay? Okay. Now you go back. You go back. Since this is already... Since this is already our, uh, our figure, you can make again another one parameter. Material. Na? This material. And then you don't have material yet, and you need to go and make, make a material, material, and then instance, okay, and then you go to this type, this one, uh, family mater uh, material type, and then go to here. And then uh, again, you create new material, and uh, you name this material retaining wall. And then go to appearance. Okay, retaining wall is already existed, na? so you name it another one. Retaining wall. One. Okay. And then go to appearance. And then in appearance, uh, you just uh, go to this replace these assets. And then you search for concrete. Uh, concrete. Now, no, I'll choose this concrete in place. Cast in place. Cast in place. And then uh, go to graphics and then use this appearance. Apply. Okay. No? Apply. Okay. Now you go to realistic. Now it's realistic. Hmm? Oh, and then uh, and then you load it back to the project you load it back over right now here yeah? and then uh, this one when you upload this into project let's open a project open a project new project and I open a new project name architecture metric okay
and then uh, I'm going to load this uh, one that we have done into our project load into project load and then project one okay okay close work plane you can select anywhere you go to the 3d there you know this is you know why this is very high you know why this is very high because here in my level my level my level point is this one is uh, done in high 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 level no? this one no? it is done in level two hmm? you just select it back no? You can uh, do like this. Huh? You can uh, see. You see now, my level one is done in elevation seven. Yeah. I have changed this. If you went, you will change this into into level zero. This one will go level zero. But I have made this one level seven. Because our level there in our pumping station is 8 and then we're going to cut here. We will cut. In our next project, this is our level 1, level 0. If you will change your project, your project, this, this project you will change, you go to south. You go to south. And then uh, you change this level and place this one level 18. 18,000. Because this is, uh, and then this one is 7,000. Now, now you can move this or you can align this, align. Now it's there. See? It's here. And then you change your unit into meters. And then decimal. Okay. Okay. And then you go to 3D. This is our project now. If I'm going to click this, you edit. Hmm? Then you can edit all. You can edit all these parameters that I have done. Hmm? You can edit. It's there. Hmm? Huh? Okay. Okay. Now that is our lesson for today.